Our next woman with an inspiring story as well is Christine Toy Johnson. You've heard a little bit of her talent, but she has many. One of the most important is that she has been very active in promoting diversity within the Actors Guild and within the arts community. She's also so many things. Okay, it's just a singer. She's a playwright. She's worked with her husband, Bruce Johnson, in developing a really important um, story in the community. Very important story that should be better known outside of our community as well. You'll have an opportunity to see it yourself. It's the story of Wat and Saka. Of course, you may know something about him, but you'll have an opportunity to see his story and the work that Christine and her husband Bruce have put together. First, though, this is a little bit of a look at Christine's life and talents, which was produced by her <laughs> companion and colleague. <laughs> <clears throat> Chris grew up in the suburbs of New York City. She was in a nursery school. They called up and asked that she could just do a modeling job. And that's how it started. She was very interested in many aspects of the theater. We used to go down to see quite a few matinees. And she saw all these uh, actors and actresses on the stage, and they all looked the same. And she would always wonder, why is it, you know, that there was not a person that was different, you know, ethnic, well, how should I say, I mean, like her, uh, who was Asian. She auditioned for me for the role of Amalia Balish in uh, She Loves Me. And, of course, she sang, I was enchanted. Uh, she read, and I was uh, touched and amused. It was very funny. But there was something else happening that I didn't realize at the time. Everything about her was telling me to look deeper. I wasn't before that very aware of being uh, a director who was insisted on multicultural casting. I am now, and it started then. Christine was the first, if not one of the first, Asian American actresses to play Maria in West Side Story. The fact that she wasn't Puerto Rican really had nothing to do with it. We knew that the audience would accept the best Maria in America. You know, it's amazing what she's done for this business. To, to be a pioneer in that way, I'm really lucky to be able to have all of these opportunities now because of the pathway that she's laid for us. She was courageous enough to come in and do her work, which was a brilliant actress. She did it and she got the parts and now we take it for granted in the theater. We see people whose parents are white and they're black or vice versa and it's because heroines like Christine did it back in the early 90s when it was hard to do. Chris has been an amazing presence as an actress in the um, Asian American and New York and national theater communities for a long time. Um, we worked together probably most closely on Flower Drum Song and um, I really got to know her better there in terms of um, yes her talent and her singing ability and her acting ability but also you know her ability to kind of inspire a room. The idea of uh, actors of color getting more opportunities uh, to work is uh, something that everybody believes in, but um, very few of us do anything about. And Christine is there always uh, on the front line, working uh, basically on behalf of all of us. She's long been established as an important political activist, as an advocate um, from her work within equity and on the Equity Council. As an advocate for always pushing for um, diversity in casting and then always looking out for uh, career opportunities for Asian American actors and, and just actors of, of, uh, of any kind of ethnicity. And now as a writer, filmmaker, it's extraordinary because Christine tells tremendous stories. She tells stories that are really imperative for an audience to hear. For her to sort of take the reins on her career that way, I think is, is really um, a great lesson for all of us to, to be able to change, you know, what we don't like and what, we, um, what challenges us and, and to be proactive in that way. We tend to be character actors. We tend to uh, be the best friend or not necessarily the main plot line, but Christine puts the Asian American actor in, in the spotlight and in, in the center and gives him a really rich 
story. Chris uh, is telling Asian American stories um, not only as a, um, a playwright but also as a filmmaker. Christine is an extraordinary person. She has the intelligence, personality, and perseverance to be an outstanding champion. You know, for Christine, it was a lot more than just telling the story. Um, it was about evangelizing the story, and I, I realized that immediately upon meeting her for the first time, that her commitment to the life that Watt led was more than just that of a documentarian. And in the aftermath of actually putting together the story and transcending the efforts that she made to bring Watt Masaka and his wife Katie to the Hall of Fame, back to Madison Square Garden for the first time in 60 years, where he had played for the Knicks and where he'd had his great moments of triumph as a youth. He took a forgotten story, completely unknown to some, deep in legend, a myth in part to younger generations, and brought his story back to life, shared it with people across the country, and helped educate a nation, including the President of the United States, about this important part of our American history. And it was really something that uh, I'll be forever thankful for. She just uh, such a kind, intelligent, and I'm not saying this because I'm her mother, I'm saying this unbiasedly. Yay for Christine. From the JCL to Christine Toy Johnson for her extraordinary talents and service to the cause of diversity and human rights. She has inspired many young Asian Americans with her film about the untold story of the great Wat Misaka. Thank you so much, David and Floyd. Uh, members of the JACL and JACL supporters, uh, thank you for your work and for this tremendous honor. I am uh, deeply humbled to be in the company of these incredible women and all of you. You know, uh, quite a few of my own personal champions are here tonight. <laughs> uh, you've already met my gorgeous and unbiased mother. Uh, <laughs> she's here with my equally gorgeous and unbiased father. Uh, they um, have supported me at every corner taught me how to always believe in myself and respond to every challenge with grace and dignity, themselves living by example. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> Watt and Katie Misaka are in the building, ladies and gentlemen. They flew here from Salt Lake City today to surprise us. We are always so inspired by your generous spirits and so grateful to have you as our friends. Thank you for being here. And I want to thank Ted and Brian and Julia for being here for me too. And uh, of course, my darling husband, Bruce who made that incredible video. He's so brilliant. Uh, and another rock solid pillar of support. And of course, my amazing collaborator on transcending the Watt Masaka story. It is his artistry and vision that made the film what it is today. Thank you. <laughs> There was never any question that this was a story that needed to be told. In fact, championing Watt's amazing, groundbreaking achievements has been the easiest part of this process. It still is. And uh, from, the, from day one, we knew that by hook or crook, we needed to get the world to acknowledge him and give him his rightful place in history, and it could be prouder to see that happening. What we couldn't have imagined, and what has been such an incredible gift, is the way the Japanese American community has embraced us. And how in turn, our shared communities have come together to celebrate and fuel our continued work together towards civil rights and inclusion. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that and embrace you right back. I, um, I, I have always believed in, in living by the poet Emily Dickinson's words, I dwell in possibility. I dwell in the possibility of a world without racism, a world without discrimination, a world without exclusion. I thank you for supporting arts and for these wings tonight. They give me faith that together our work takes flight and can have a lasting impact. Thank you so much.